This is Natty of Cunning Linguists giving a heavenly shout out to Angel Arts. And uh, for the rest of the record, I'm going to give it to these people. Which countries uh, have you been and which one is your favorite? We've been pretty much all over Europe. Switzerland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Copenhagen, Germany. France, Germany, Czech Republic. Um, Czech Republic. Going to Lithuania tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Uh, you, Alaska. which ones are? Alaska. <laughs> Alaska. A whole different country. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of different country. You have to be there to understand how how much that is a whole different country. Alaska, yes, it's part of the U.S., but really, it's not. It's it, you have to go there to see. Yeah, because a lot of people say like you, when you come to Europe, it's all the same. Like Europe is like one big country. Do you feel that way? No, no. no? I don't know. So it's kind of different from. We have I mean, one place for the America. I was going to say, yeah, I mean, people are different. The geography is different. I don't think it's the same at all. I mean, I'm, I'm, I think we've gotten very used to the different customs and what you got to deal with is borders and, you know, how people, you know, some people invade your personal space in certain countries. We're not going to say where, but, and some people, some places they don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's different, different little nuances. Nuances. That's a good word. Nuances. Yeah. There's different nuances. Yeah. So, I like... I like to mention that they're not all the same, but something that I have found to be the same here is the chicken. Okay, so what else? What else do? What do you see yourself doing in uh, ten years from now? Uh, Spending this rap money. <laughs> <laughs> not. <laughs> uh, I see myself <laughs> still producing. I'm gonna be a producer forever, but I'm gonna be making uh, movie music. I'm gonna be scoring films. That's what I'm doing in ten years. And I'm going to be scoring those films with them, exactly. <laughs> for real. I was mulling around between either a professional break dancer or I. Okay. <laughs> going back to a, a life of stripping. <laughs> or yes, I could go back to stripping, but I, that's just a whole scene that my kids can't see me doing that. I, they can't know their daddy's a stripper. So I'm going to go with professional break dancer. Okay. Ten years. <laughs> good. <laughs> Sounds real good. <laughs> Okay, so how do you guys, um, like, you travel so much. Is it something you want to keep on doing or you, like, want to go home and just chill with the family? Like, don't you ever miss home? Yeah. I mean, we got a song about that on our album. The oh, one he was leave. talking about, Don't Leave. It's called Don't Leave. With Slug. I mean, it's pretty much about that. Sometimes it can feel Why don't like. Why you spit a little something, Deacon, for the people? It starts with. At times it can feel like home is when I'm gone. On these lonely roads we roam, Cali to roam. Me and everybody I love living through phone. Never been one for hugs, but I long across time zones for strength from fam who were only with me through video or digital camera. Looking for answers, seeking a chance to make up for time that got lost in these stanzas. The click of my heels ain't taking me to Kansas. Thinking about Tuck got me stuck in these trances. But you, you get the gist, you know what I'm saying? It's just. It's about missing home. I mean, we miss home often, but that's what we signed up for. It's too much of a blessing to complain, for real. I mean, we get them to see the entire world. So one day we'll hang it up. But at the same time, 10 years from now, we'll want to come back and enjoy these places we've got to see as tourists. Because when we're on the road, it's a grind. It's, it's a work. This is what we do. It's a blessing. But, you know, been to New York like 20 times. I ain't never seen the Statue of Liberty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you feel what I'm saying? It's work. If you could choose anyone in the whole wide world to work with, who would that be? Uh, Gary Coleman? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, oh, in the video. Uh, if, I, if I could work with anybody, I would probably like to work with mm, if Alive or Dead. Hmm? Alive or Dead? Do they have to be alive? They have to be alive. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, if they if it didn't have to be alive, I'd like to work with Ray Charles. Yeah, if they didn't have to be alive, I'm going to go with uh, Jimi Hendrix. 1984 Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Not now Michael Jackson, but 1984 Michael Jackson. I just stole his answer. Diana Ross. Yeah, not the Diana Ross Michael Jackson. 1984 Michael Jackson. I need, I need some Jerry Curl in the booth. That's what I need. 1984, Michael Jackson. Activator. We need Everywhere. an activator in the booth. Everywhere. Okay, thank you guys. It was really nice talking to you, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing the show, and I hope you guys enjoy everything on the stage and the crowd. Yeah.
Det var det for mig. Um, stay tuned med Angel Arts TV. Peace.